I've already done a bunch of these demos. Uh, notice that you can do a lot of things to change the flux. But if I have N coils, did we already talk about if there's N coils, all the coils are in series or N turns in a coil, a solenoid. Uh, if there's N turns, you got to multiply that EMF by N. Okay. Uh, now, this is uh, Faraday's law is written for you guys like this. What the heck is this right over here? What's that? Integral around a closed loop of E dot DL. What is that? That is not Gauss's law. It is the EMF. You're right. That's the same calculation of voltage difference, except the voltage difference has a negative sign in there. Uh, but this is the non-conservative field that is created whenever you change the magnetic flux. You integrate that non-conservative field uh, dotted on the path length. I've used S in the past for that. I've now adopted the, uh, the AP physics equation sheet uses L. So I'm, I'm going to use that for this lecture. Uh, it's the closed loop integral. This is about a closed path. That's what that means. Closed path. Bottom line here is that a time varying magnetic field produces a non-conservative electric field. Now what the heck does that mean non-conservative? If you have a conservative field and I start here and I do this crazy, crazy thing and I end right there, uh, how much work is the field done if I start there and end there? Zero. Zero. This is non-conservative. Every time this thing, a, a charge goes around the loop, it gains potential energy. So once around, your EMF is basically the potential energy per unit charge for every loop. So you can have a charge keep going around, 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 as long as you keep changing the magnetic flux. Now that gets difficult because if you want it to be a, a DC current, you want it just to keep going around, 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 you've got to keep increasing your magnetic flux or keep decreasing it, which gets pretty hard after a while. So better is we just create a sinusoidal flux, goes up and down, and then we get a sinusoidal EMF. That's very easy to do, and that's Tesla's genius. He said, why bother with this DC? It just creates problems. Let's create a sinusoidal magnetic flux. Super easy to do. You take a magnet, you put it in the middle of a coil. What do you do with the magnet? Spin it. That's all you do. And you need no uh, brushes. You don't need any switching of current direction. It's already there for you. So AC is the way to go.